Hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Claudia Nari and on here we talk about various different fragrances that are in my collection. Uh, we talk about things that you might have, you can bring up or just some uh, fragrances that I might wanna bring to your attention. Today's video is gonna be about how did I layer my April tray. So to all of the people who come back in each and every time to watch my video, but you haven't subscribed yet, take the time to subscribe and hit the notification button. Uh, for anyone who is new here, if you like what you see, subscribe. That way you will never miss what I'm going to come out with next. And again, today's video is going to be about how did I layer my April uh, tray. Now I didn't layer all of them. So of course in the description is going to be a link to the April trays video. That way you can see what all I had on the tray. But this would be, I want to say, a total of six of them that I find myself going back and forth with. I started off the week, I picked out a fragrance, and then I kind of played around with some other fragrances throughout the week. If this sounds interesting to you, then stay tuned. I don't want to hold you, so let's jump into it. For the first one, uh, along with what I just showed you is what I initially thought I was going to wear for the week uh, with Birth of Venus, I did change it up. Now, just to give you an idea of what the notes I was trying to layer with in Birth of Venus is going to be the peach, the iris, the latamin, and the raspberry note. Uh, this this fragrance here is so beautiful. I wish I would have got a bigger bottle um, of it. The notes are so elegant, so romantic. Like I really enjoyed this one. This was a recommendation from Amanda Marie here on YouTube. And thumbs up. Great recommendation. This one was good. So my layering, when I was doing my layering, I did end up layering it with brush of um cardigan and brush of cardigan has sweet raspberry sugar drop violet and warm amber so this is where my raspberry note was coming from when i was doing all of my layerings right so keep in mind that the it was these two right here that was on my body the spray was on my body this is my fragrance i found that to pull out more of the peach note I went with Forbidden Games. This was absolutely gorgeous. Like the peach note in it wasn't that syrupy peach, right? So it blended very beautifully with Birth of Venus. So I did it with Forbidden Games. To also pull out some of the peach note in this fragrance, I also wore it, and I just dropped the top. I also wore it with Kirk uh, from Tatiana Terenzi. And like I said, I just dropped the top, like <laughs> completely knocked the top off, but I'm only, I won't even try to pick it up. Uh, so this one here was amazing. Kirk is such a gorgeous fragrance by itself. Um, I had to go back and remind myself because it was early in the week when I did this one. Yeah, this is such an amazing fragrance by itself. But then if you take and layer it with the birth of venus oh i was smelling so good <laughs> i was smelling so good i just remember i remember what the day and everything i was smelling amazing right and then uh two we i end up going out in that first week uh with some of my girlfriends and i wore birth of venus along with apple apollonia apollonia from um georgia now, this was to pull out more of the iris note. This one here is so classy. It's like a wedding scent. 
So when I think of Apollonia from Georgia, I think of a wedding scent, like a maybe the mother of the bride, maybe even the bride. Um, I know that a lot of times for weddings, people tend to want to pick a fragrance that everybody will wear. Apollonia from Georgia would be a great one to wear with it. But combined with here, it added just the perfect softness to Birth of Venus. And then to sleep in, um, because it was still on my skin and birth of Venus lasts on my skin even after I take a shower. It's still there. And then again, I am an oversprayer, so that might be why, but it was still there. So to sleep in it, I put on this one here, which is Aqua Colonia, and it's Saffron Iris. This you can get for like $14, $15 at Marshalls or TJ Maxx. This was one of the uh, bed scents, or should I say sleep scents, that I absolutely adore. So I just took the opportunity to just spray it on one night. And so think of saffron and clean iris, along with the peach and iris, latamin and raspberry that's in this fragrance. Yeah, this was so, I just, I was, it was cozy. It was so good together. So for week two, you just saw Nashville. And what did I layer with Nashville? Or what should I say, my intent <laughs> that I was going to layer with Nashville, right? Now, Nashville to me is by City Rhythms. So it looks like this. And of course, with City Rhythms, you can get it with the uh, colors in it, like with the uh, sparkles in it or not. I am always choose to get it. But to me, Nashville... I wanted to layer the guava, coconut, and cacao that's in this fragrance, right? Now, there are so many other notes in Nashville that just makes it absolutely amazing. That is just where my mind was for week two um, and what I wanted to layer with. And actually, I ended up doing two different ones in week two. I went from just Nashville to another one, but we'll just kind of get into it. Um, yeah, this is it's it's beautiful. This one is beautiful. But I wanted to do the guava. Now remember it has the guava, the coconut, and the cacao. So I went with Sunset Glow as my body spray. And in Sunset Glow, you're going to get fresh coconut sparkling, cherries, um, cherry dream. Oh, cherry dream is gonna be some moonflower in it and some caramelized vanilla. So with this one here. It, it it didn't it didn't overpower the fragrance it was just a beautiful oh yeah see i have to keep reminding myself because i mean it was for the month of april i kind of found myself just pulling for stuff but these two were my base when i wanted to look at what to layer with it so when you think in guava you think in uh coffee notes right so i didn't want to go too too coffee um with it i wanted the coffee guava note or or java note to be what's in here and i wanted to pull more chocolate i was in like this chocolate fix i think so the first one i went with was chocolate greedy and i find that i use chocolate greedy a lot as a layering one uh then as a fragrance by itself so i went with this one and I know you heard about chocolate greedy. I probably don't even have to put the note up, but if I can, I'll go ahead and post the chocolate, the note for chocolate greedy. Uh, I was still kind of in my chocolate phase. So I also had velvet chocolate by Theodorus. Uh, there was it Theodorus Carlinius. This one here is more of a, like a velvet chocolate cake. That's what this is to me. <laughs> so it was, I felt real edible, real delicious. Like someone could take a bite out of me. I put these two together. And then I was like, okay, all right, all right, enough chocolate, enough chocolate. You need to move into something different. So I went with Old Faithful, which I truly enjoy, which is New Orleans by City Rhythms, and put them together. This is made in heaven. This is so good together. It is so good. It is the bonbon note that is in New Orleans and the in the 
um, Java cacao note with a bit of coconut. I mean, it is so good. It is so good, so sexy. So if you haven't heard of City Rhythms, you probably need to get into City Rhythms. And these probably will be the two that I would tell you to go get first. New Orleans and Nashville. I could be biased, but they are amazing together. So to end off the week, um, I always go back and forth with this one here. And that is La Boo by John, um, John Paul Gaultier. And this is a coconut dream this is if you're looking for a coconut fragrance this is so good like it's so good it's such a gorgeous coconut matter of fact i might end up doing coconut for the month of may i think i might i think i might do because i kind of been wanting coconut a lot i might do coconut for the month of may but this is an amazing blend because it pulls the coconut note out of nashville so that was my week too So this one here was kind of in week two, a little bit of week three. I think that at a certain point between two, you know, all the different weeks, I just stopped thinking about it. I just started pulling out other stuff to try. I was like in my layering phase, right? So my next one uh, you just saw was Kasili and what I started off layering Kasili with, right? And then along with that, uh, and with Kasili, what I was trying to get out of this one was the red currant, the plum, and the mimosa that's in it. Like this gorgeous, beautiful flower. Now, again, like I said, it was it's more nose to Kasili than what I'm saying. Uh, but that's what I was trying to pull out of it, right? So I started off with falling in bloom as my body spray. And with Falling in Bloom, you're going to get this Juicy Plum, Wild Blossoms, and Velvet Moss in it. So this may seem like more of a fall scent, but I really think that you can wear some of these body sprays whenever you want, right? So I layered it with this because I wanted to kind of go along with the plum and the floral notes and all that that was in it. Now, along with that, so remember, this was on my body, right? So then along with that, I also did... Uh, Kenzo World Intense. This is such a beautiful, plummy fragrance. Gorgeous, gorgeous, plummy fragrance. Like, Kenzo World uh, is from, well, I mean, it was it was made by, by Frank, the, the, the same person, oh, I got something on it, the same person who, who uh, came out with Baccarat 540, you know, Francis Cortijon. So he, this is when he was just making fragrances for other people. So that is World Intense. Kenzo World Intense. That brought out such a gorgeous plum in this fragrance right here, along with the Fall in Bloom. Along with that, I also uh, wanted more of a, I was, on, I was on this day that I wanted more floral notes and I wanted to still wear Kasili and I went with uh, Black Tulip. Black Tulip is by um, Ness. Well, I'm sorry, it's by Shea in Blue. And it's like this, like a bouquet of flowers. That's what I think of <laughs> when I think of Black Tulip, right? I think of bouquet of flowers, but I also think of red currant. Like it has this gorgeous red currant note to it. So um, putting these two together, and I do have it in a small 10 mil. Uh, because I'm not really a floral person per se, uh, but I do like some florals. So these together was it was it was just a really I felt really pretty, very pretty on the day that I decided to wear that. And then I was like, okay, I want some old some OGs. I want to kind of blend it with some OGs. So I went back to now. If y'all do not remember Oscar De La Rente's Bella Essence. This was all the rave for a long, long time. Everybody was talking about this fragrance. Oh, they were talking about the 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 uh, black currant note in it, the floralness in it. They love the bottle. You know, it just amazes me how something can be so sought after, and then all of a sudden, people just stop talking about it. <laughs> but it's still good. 
So these two together was great. This is uh, Bella Essence, and I did layer it with Kasili. And then I was kind of going through my collection, trying to figure, I got the question of, do I ever declutter? And I was like, no, nah, I don't really declutter any fragrances. I kind of push them in the back of So I was like, okay, well, let me go in the back of the, the back of the shelf and see what can I layer with it. And I came up with Champ Elise. This is elegance in a bottle. This is Oh, this reminds me so, it's so nostalgic to me. Like it reminds me so much of like one of my favorite teachers when I was in high school, just of the classy first lady at the church, right? Just someone who you just want to go give a hug to. Like she just carries herself with such elegance, right? <laughs> this, that is what I think of when I think of Champ Elise. But when I put it with here, I got this beautiful mimosa creaminess. And then Kasili kind of still gave me that fruity, plummy note. So it wasn't so uh, mature of a fragrance. It kind of gave it more of an upbeat. So these was actually a surprise, but a great, a great mixture together. Champ Elise with Kalise. Kasili by Perfume Damali. Right, so I was on this perfume Damali kick. So this is like I said, it got to the point where between week two and to the end of the month, I just was picking up stuff layering, like I was in this layering mode, right? So I don't know if this was week three or if it was going into week three. So I'm not even gonna give it a title, but I will show you what I initially started off. You did see what I started off wearing with Oriana and also throughout the time of wanting to go with that fragrance these are the ones that i put together so i first started off and if you uh what i was trying to pull out of this particular fragrance oriana's is uh orange blossom black currant and marshmallow like i wanted more of that marshmallow note i just wanted more of it right and if you had an opportunity to catch um any of those bath and body uh sas sales then you will probably find this for like four dollars 4.95 and it's ice sugar plum and in it is sparkling sugar plum snowdrop petals and whipped marshmallow i really enjoyed this one and i am again as you're noticing i'm not a season like you know it may come out in a certain season I'm not that seasoned type person. I'm whatever fragrance I'm wearing and how do I want to enhance it? Yeah, so I like this particularly for the marshmallow note in it because it just makes the marshmallow in Oriana just jump in your face, right? Now, oddly enough, I end up, now remember, this is on my body. I always want to keep that in mind that the body spray goes on my body, right? I've been wanting to get Love, Don't Be Shy, um, but I end up getting it by Dossier, right? And it's Floral Marshmallow. This is their take on Love, Don't Be Shy. And I wanted to get it because everybody was like, well, this is the same fragrance. You don't really need to get both of them. And I differ. I've had the actual original Love, Don't Be Shy as a decant. I will admit there is some similarities. But together, it makes Oriana, who doesn't last on your skin for long, on some people, it makes it project like a beast. Like it's, um, it, it is, if it's alike <laughs> from what everyone is saying, it takes and makes it such a beast mode fragrance. So start off with a uh, floral marshmallow, or if you have love, don't be shy, you can start off with that one. And then on top of it, put Oriana. You're going to smell good all day, all throughout the night, just until you come home and take a shower. Put them together. But like I said, I don't have love, don't be shy. I uh, ultimately are going to put it in my collection, uh, but I, I do have the floral marshmallow. And the notes in this one is the marshmallow, neroli, ben, uh, bergamot. It has orange blossom, honeysickle, jasmine 
it has a base of amber vanilla and musk which is probably very similar to what this one is so again it makes it project so i get why people say love don't be shy and oriana is pretty much the same fragrance but if you having trouble with this fragrance and you want it to last longer put these together and you're gonna get it all day now i also wanted to kind of see how would it work with its own brand you i'm noticing that perfume damali and everything that they're coming out with can be layered together right if you want to layer a fragrance and say you want to stick with just one brand perfume damali does make enough fragrances that you can layer them together so oriana and uh melora together gives it a more green freshness to all of that fruity uh marshmallow gourmandness it kind of brings it down just a little bit and pushes that orange blossom forward so these two here were great together so then i was like you know i like the floral it was nice uh i'm a gourmand girl so i gotta go back to being gourmand so i went and layered it with yum yum pistachio i wanted to add a nutty note oh my god Oh my God, this was good. This was good. If you have these in your collection, please try it. Just put it on and try it. Come back to this video and thank me because I'm telling you, this was great together. I was like, oh, I like this. So yum, yum, pistachio gelato with oriana gives it this gorgeous warm nutty gourmand marshmallow deliciousness great together right and then i was still like kind of playing around with my fragrances so i say you know this was on my uh tray and i do wear c i find that i'm not wearing as much as i would like to wear it um i used to wear it a lot in, um, for a good little while and then I kind of pulled back from it. So I was like, I wonder how it would go together. So I did um, C with this one, but I will admit, I did do C, but there was another one that worked better and that was C Passion. C Passion was like black currant, it was floral, it had the orange blossom note in it. So this one was better together. So I kind of wish I would have taken out C Passion for my April tray, C was good, don't get me wrong. But if I had to do that tray again, I think that I would put C Passion on that tray. Because these together was great. It was really good together. It, they played really nice <laughs> together. And then to end it all off, um, I had gotten many miles by Dapper in the mail and I wanted to figure out how to wear it. Now, Minnie Mouse, um, of course, if you have it from House of Siage, it's a, it's a gorgeous scent. It's a really pretty scent. Um, a lot of people, either they in love with it or not so much, right? Because it does have this sharp opening to it. The bottle is gorgeous, so I'll make sure that I post the bottle right here. That bottle... Or maybe because I'm a Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse fan. <laughs> I love the bottle, right? I love anything Disney. So that's probably why I really like the brand. Because uh, they're really getting into Disney. Minnie Mouse has a lot of notes in it. But I will admit that it does have a very sharp opening. Not the dapper version. But the actual Minnie Mouse has a very sharp opening. So... I enjoyed these two together. But I feel like this would be amazing in cooler weather and the day that i did wear it it was kind of warm here in texas so it was it was heavy it was like a heavy scent i wasn't uh choking anybody out but i did feel like it was a heavy scent so i want to try these two again when it's kind of breezy maybe i might pull this out again in the fall but if you have mini mouse wear that one or if you have dapper's version of mini mouse try it and then add Orion with it. Right now, for this one here, um, for this one here, I was trying to find a scent uh, to wear to the an event that I was going to. I was going to the Chris Collins event, and I was like, okay, I want to smell 
sophisticated. Like I want to, I, I had a jean outfit on and <laughs> I just, in my mind, I wanted to smell sophisticated, but I didn't want to be smelling like too much. Like I didn't want to be too much. Cause of course I know I was going to an event and I wanted to smell Chris Collins, uh, fragrances and so forth, so on. Right. So I didn't want to smell too much, but I kind of wanted to smell like very elegant, very classy. Right. So I was in the mood of just layering. So I don't have what you did not see is where I did um, Amber Nuit. I'm not sure if I did or I didn't. I'm going to go through my um, my my uh, memory bank and my phone. If I did, I probably posted it. If I didn't, uh, then these are the ones that I was trying out. So kind of give you that. Uh, so Amber Nuit, I was trying to pull out more of the Denmark rose that's in it and the amigris, right? So, I, but I wanted more of the rose. I'm trying to figure out where do I fit with that rose note, right? Because I hear so many good things about rose. <laughs> so I was like, I really need to get into rose. Um, and this one smells good on me. I know a lot of people say that it can pull off masculine, but it actually smells really good on me. And it's a great like evening scent. It's a great going out scent. I like this one. But if you need to soften it, um, you can add it with whipped rose latte, which is more of a coffee rose note. And that could tone it down just a little bit. Uh, with this one here, you'll get rose petal, you'll get cocoa flower and whipped foam. So it's like a like a like I said, like a rose, a very rosy latte. And that could kind of tone it down if need be. Um, I love these two together, but I'm most likely not really trying to tone this one, make any more feminine. Because like I said, it works great on my skin. Uh, but because I was in the hunt to find something more rosy, I did pull a lot of rose base scents. So let's start off with the first one. And I want to take the little chain off of it. I did put it with rose elixir. Rose elixir is like a like a rose drink like a drink that has rose in it it's so like the rose stick to your skin so if you kind of want to get into rose i think rose elixir is one i think that you might want to start off with from montal because it's not like the church lady or old lady rose like you hear some people say it's 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 a very nice garmani type like an elixir right now it doesn't last i will say that it does not last <laughs> and you do have to take rose elixir and layer it with something in my opinion uh but putting it with amber nuit it pulled out that denmark rose that was in it and gave it like a little a little more femininity if need be, right? So I'm kind of giving y'all some that will add a little feminine to it. If you are one of the people who believe that Amber Nuit uh, leans kind of masculine. Now, uh, another one which falls into that little category of everyone always talks about has that Baccarat 540 DNA in it. And this is, um, oh God, which one is this one? Because uh, I can't really see it. I've, I've sprayed off. I want to say it's uh, B, B uh, Contos. Um, which one is this one? I'm going to have to list the name under it because I can't see it. I have rubbed the name off. So I have it listed under me. But this one here gives you a... It does have that Baccarat 540 kind of DNA. So for me, because like I said, I don't really have Baccarat 540 in my collection. I have some variations of it. I do layer it with this one here. And it, it works. It works absolutely amazing. And I'll make sure to list the notes to this one. Uh, because like, like I said, I can't really see it. Uh, but it works. I want to say it's... Uh, sit to sit to but again i have it listed under me and i have the notes up these worked great together it it gave it just enough uh floralness not too much uh kind of gave it a bit of a spiciness right a, a bit of a spicy touch to this 
So this was one that I was going to wear, but then I was like, maybe that'd be too much. You know, that'd be too much going to an event. And then you smell it so heavily like something else, right? So then I said, okay, well, it's going to be an evening event. Uh, the, I looked on this. I looked on the weather and it was going to be cooler that day. So I said, okay, well, let me go more warm and cozy. So then I chose to try to layer it with more than words. This was a commanding combo. This was a commanding combo. So if you are not a person who wants to have your fragrance walk in the room before you get to the room, this might not be yours. But if you are a person who want your fragrance to arrive and then stay for a little while after you left More Than Words by Georgeoff with Amber Nuit, good this is good this is a command the room combo and then i end up going out i didn't end up wearing actually i i, I didn't even end up wearing amber nui come that i think about it i think because i felt like let me kind of just spray on a nice light scent because i saw i was gonna probably end up wanting to spray on chris collins scent which it was true and i did uh, so I'm happy I did go with just wearing something light. I think I ended up wearing another 13 or something like that, I think. But uh, another one I was trying out was Oud Satin Mood. And I ended up wearing these two combos when my husband and I went out for a night like date. We were on a date and it was like late in the evening. And I had taken a fresh shower. And right before I was about to spray myself down to go to bed, he was like, hey, you want to just go out? I was like, yeah. Yeah, let's go out. So I put this one on and then I put on this one here and I got a compliment from him. He really enjoyed it. So of course, y'all know, I put this under husband likes <laughs> and I will wear this combo again. So Ooh, Sad Mood, which is gorgeous by itself, but then it, 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 it kind of like melts down to this nice, rosy, cozy scent. And then the Amber New Wheat gives it like the punch of Amber. Great. This was really, really good. This was really good. Like I filled his whole truck up with my fragrance. And he told me the next day he could still smell me that I was in the truck. I was like, all right. <laughs> so these were really good together. Okay, so to end off, which is the week I'm currently in right now, to end off the month of April, I end up wanting to wear one of my OG Old Faithfuls, right? So I went with Juicy Flowers. This is such a nice floral note, but not too much, right? I want to pull the pear, jasmine, and raspberry note out of uh juicy flowers because it's not it it it's not heavy heavy like bouquet of flowers right you would think that it would be right but it's not it's more juicy i think flowers is a is in it there is some floral notes in juicy flowers but um it's mostly like just a juicy scent like a very like a bite out of an apple a bite out of something really fresh so to me, it was a no-brainer to layer it with, um, with, with fresh, right? To layer it with this one here and um, gingham fresh because it's juicy pear, it's sparkling clementine, and fresh daisy. Worked great. It worked beautifully together because it gave it a freshness, right? And I feel like Juicy Flowers is real fresh anyway. So the body spray needed to be fresh. So I put it on with, with uh, Gingham Fresh. And I want to say they came out with this one a couple of months back. So if you haven't caught the, on to that one, I'm pretty sure it'll come back out in uh, the SAS. So sticking with the pear note, uh, I wanted to put out a little more pear. So I went with... Uh, 
uh what is it lord i'm having a hard time seeing these today maybe because how bright my light is <laughs> but uh this is juliet has a gun pair ink and this was great together this was great this is pear this is just a very fresh peri fragrance i really think this works gorgeous with this body spray so this could be worn by itself but i did wear it with the body spray along with juicy flower and it was good it was a really fresh scent i felt like i was kind of knocking it out of park with all these other fragrances this month so i wanted to kind of tone it down so with juicy flower i did pick some more fresh clean scents so pear ink was a good one that i put with it pear if you haven't tried pear ink, I think that you should. Um, I did go with Doma Rosa because it's more of a champagne rose fragrance. Um, this one worked gorgeous with Juicy Flower. It had a bit of jasmine-ish to it, but because of the champagne and the watery freshness of the champagne, the bubble under your nose of Doma Rosa, Putting it with Juicy Flower kind of made it a little sweet. Like, it kind of sweetened it up a little bit. Like, I think it was from that raspberry note. Um, these were really good together. This was really good together. So, I was very proud of that one. And then, of course, I could not have a time and I did not have some level of gourmand. So, if you have not got Amorous Intense by Navitus, and this is another one that AI came out with. This is a green Jolly Rancher. That is what this is. And every time I smell it, that's what I think of. It's a green Jolly Rancher. If you love that, that scent, like when you first get the Jolly Rancher out the pack, it's, it is beautiful. It's, oh my God, it's so edible. It's beautiful. It's beautiful to smell it again. So think of the green Jolly Rancher with the pear note that's in Juicy Flower, the jasmine, the raspberry, it gave it sweetness. It made it really like candied sweet. So for my gourmand lovers and you want to add a little sweetness to it, Amorous Intense. Amorous Intense. It's going to give you the sweetness that you need with Juicy Flower. And then to just end it off, my today scent uh, that I've had on all day today and I wore it again yesterday was Juicy Flower and LaBelle. This was a nice, beautiful scent. It was an, it was it was just beautiful. It was absolutely beautiful. I can't truly um, help you understand it via a video, right? It's one of them like you have to try it. Uh, since I'm gonna spray it together because I'm at the end of my day, so it's kind of wound down. But when I first put them together, it smells great. With it pulls that jasmine out it pulls the jasmine out of juicy flowers now you don't really get a lot of that pear it kind of covers up the pear um the raspberry is more of a secondary note this is for my floral lovers this is for my girls who want to be real like this is probably a beautiful brunch scent together and again i keep dropping these tops um it's, try it all right, I hope y'all have enjoyed all of my layerings that I did do for the month of April. If there are any uh, that you would have layered with these fragrances, right? If there were any fragrances that have interest you, please tell me about it. Let me know in the comments. Uh, I always try to give you a link to where you can go find these fragrances at. Uh, if not, I do have a partnership with Drama Shop, who is the best spot in most affordable area. Uh, for you to buy fragrances for so of course that's in the description go ahead and click on it uh and it'll take you to the page and a lot of these you probably will find on there at at like the lowest you're gonna probably find the, these fragrances i truly enjoyed doing this with you april uh became more of a layering month for me than wearing them by themselves and that happens right uh, so I don't know what May is going to be. I am in the mood for coconut. So that might be, that might be 
what May is going to end up being. I know that I do need to pick the giveaway winner. So in my next video, I will post who won the April giveaway. I hope y'all, so I hope you filled out the questionnaire and you did everything that you were supposed to do to be able to be a part of the giveaway. And if not, I'm going to do another one for the month of May. So look out for that video. It's going to pop up in one of my videos and just follow, follow through on all of them, on all the little steps. It's not a lot of steps. And then I'll pick somebody then. So on that note, I hope you have a wonderful day, a wonderful night, whenever it was that you got to watch this video. I'll see y'all in the next video.